Have you ever thought about what if? There's no question about it. It would be a nightmare. I wouldn't want to see anybody in the building get hurt or, or worse. What would be the aftermath for a plant manager? There'd be plenty of things to think about. I mean, was the company responsible for the incident? Would we incur fines? What would happen to our insurance rates? And you have to think about the costs, not only in terms of medical care, unemployment compensation, and all of that, there are also the costs for lost production and repairing the equipment. How comfortable are you with your company's electrical safety program? I feel like we're doing a pretty good job. Our employees know that we take safety seriously. We're very proud of our safety record. My safety supervisor, Dave, has put a lot of time and energy into our electrical safety program. He conducts training sessions. He's got a good rapport with the guys. The guys like Dave, and I think they respect him. How often do you upgrade your safety equipment and training? We've made some capital investments in personal protective equipment, insulated tools, and general improvements around the plant. I do the best I can to provide Dave and the guys here at the plant with what they need. But in this economy, it's difficult to find money for upgrades and new equipment. We just replaced the ventilation system last summer. That wasn't cheap. You can never put a price tag on safety, I know that. But from a practical standpoint, there are only so many dollars to go around. Have you heard about the Electrical Safety Foundation's online assessment tool? My safety supervisor told me about it. He said it helped him evaluate our electrical safety program. There's so much information you need to know. It's good to have access to a resource like this one. I guess you never know for sure if today is the day. You prepare the best you can. You give your employees the tools and training they need. And beyond that, you just hope that day never comes.